a lot of tickly moments on my face. I want this on my face. Hi there, it's Greg Tardif, Shaving with Greg Tardif. I appreciate you clicking on the picture of whatever it is and watching up until this point. I had a lot of fun as a kid, stay up late, play video games, pick my nose, eat the boogers, pee the bed, all that kind of stuff. But. One thing I think we all have done is watch cartoons on Saturday morning with a big bowl of cereal just covered in sugar, different colors, green, red, purple, orange, yellow, just all those colors and super sweet, fruity, kind of scented. And this soap, Katie's Bubble Saturday Morning, takes me back to that childhood era. It's very exciting to me because there's a lot of soaps out there that are have like the fancy notes, they do this uh, fragrance, this Cologne, this everyday toilet. Don't get me wrong, I like those a lot too, but this triggered one of those like memory scents or something like that, where it just kind of like, whoa, bow, this is it. This is, I'm back in my childhood. I'm watching Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Laboratory all over again, just by putting a shave brush on my face covered in this elixir. It's almost like the fountain of youth, except it doesn't make me feel younger. Actually, it does make me feel younger. The post-shave feel on my skin is nice, smooth, soft, and supple. Hobbies should be fun. Wet shaving is one of my hobbies, and I have a good time. And this has reinvigorated my, my, my fun zone of wet shaving. So that's another reason I'm super excited about this. I have several soaks, uh, splashes, things like that, and I gotta say, this one triggered a lot of tickly moments on my face and I liked it. The soap itself, if you've tried Katie's Bubbles, you know how good their base is. And their base is almost six years old, seven years old at this point, uh, which is totally fine because it seems like he's got a really good soap base that uh, has a really good performance, whether you're using distilled water or even hard water like we have in Wisconsin. And if you don't know, hard water is basically heavy mineral deposits, calcium and such, in the water and can be poo-pooey for some soaps out there. Two thumbs up from your boy, Greg. Okay, performance. As I mentioned, the soap base itself is really good. It's smooth. It's airy, it feels light. It doesn't feel like it's gobbing down on your face. It just feels really nice. It's like having like a cloud on your face without it being cloudy, if that makes any sense. It's a slick performing soap that does its job just fine. And sometimes you run into soaps that are overpoweringly smelly. Like this is a very strong smelled soap, but it's not detrimental to the quality of the shave. There's no frag burn, at least on me, and I have sensitive skin, so I could probably vouch for that for most people out there. Kudos to Chris for pushing the envelope there and nailing it, so awesome. The soap itself came out in 2014, uh, so it's almost a decade old. Keep making it because I'll keep buying it. $14, four ounces. Uh, I'll put a link to Katie's Bubbles website in the description, not an affiliate link. I just couldn't find it on any other site right now, but uh, I recommend checking it out and getting an order from Chris there. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful day next Saturday morning. Hopefully you're shaving with this stuff. All right, uh, goodbye.